So I ended up picking up this rear diffuser for the R32, and it's not actually for the R32, it's for another vehicle, I'll explain it in a bit. But what I have here is a piece of chloroplast that I cut out to follow the shape of the rear spat and the rear bumper, as you guys could see right here. And I'm gonna have to transfer that onto the diffuser itself, down here, follow the body line on there, cut it out. Maybe, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to make some adjustments as I go along, maybe cut a little bit more, but still keeping that same body line, move it down a little bit. But with that being said, this diffuser is actually off of S13 and it's from Carbon Creations that I ended up purchasing for the S2000. I sold to a friend, he sold to another friend and I got it from him. So it's kind of cool to have a piece of the S2000 on the Skyline R32 and this is why I chose to do this. So now we're just gonna go ahead and mark it, trim it and test it and see how it goes along the way. So let's get to it. So the diffuser is finally trimmed and it looks like I might have to trim it a little bit more because it's still sitting way too high. So I'm gonna have to cut it like all the way down to the edge on the lower portion. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see here, it's still hanging way too low. Yeah, it's kind of dark. You guys probably won't be able to see, but it's still hanging way too low. So just trust me on this. I'm gonna have to go up about like an inch in the back, inch and a half. There's still a lot of room for clearance. And the way I cut the chloroplast is I just kind of estimated a shape and then I kept cutting and cutting little pieces off, cutting pieces off until I got the shape correct on the chloroplast to follow the body line of the spat and the rear bumper on the vehicle. But yeah, all right, finally trimmed and it's looking a million times better now. It's sitting way lower. I think it's actually perfect now. So what I did is I just took that piece of chloroplast, lowered it down a little bit and kept lowering it down, trimming little by little and getting it to sit right. I still got to do a couple minor adjustments on the carbon itself, sand it down a little bit, get it a little bit smoother, straighter and get it to fit that much better. As you guys can see, the other side is looking a million times better. It actually lines up a lot better than the other side. So I'm just going to make minor adjustments to the other side, make, make everything line up as it should and then start making the brackets for this thing let me just show you guys the first glimpse at the rear diffuser and how it looks for you guys check this out damn this thing looks good all right so to install the diffuser i bought two of these bars right here the they're flat aluminum bars and they're one inch thick by one eighth and 36 inches long a piece i do have an extra one i think just in case but i don't think i'm gonna be using the whole thing and just one tip of advice if you're gonna do if you're going to install a diffuser with these, these are really hard to cut slash drill through. So yeah, it's kind of a pain to do it. So you might need a vise just to hold this in place because I've tried to do it without the vise and this thing just spins around like crazy with the drill and that's really bad. You could break your hand, you could cut yourself. So I would suggest using a vise or some kind of clamp to clamp this down to the table and drill slash cut it out. So I made one bracket already. Um, I also ended up getting each of these M6 bolts. I believe they're the 25 millimeter ones. So I ended up getting these M6 bolts right here. I believe they're 25 millimeters in length and I ended up getting them along with it. I'm also gonna be using these lock washers and some regular washers, of course, just to keep these things in place. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and install this one bracket and I'm gonna make one more bracket and show you guys where that will go as well. All right, so I ended up getting the first bracket on. I ended up bolting it here to the gas tank. There was a hole there, and then from there down to here. I ended up using some chalk as well to make the lines and make the mark for my hole that I had to drill on the diffuser. And that I'm gonna end up painting black so that way you don't see that as much, I guess you could say. Um, I kind of like the aluminum bar look, so I don't know. I'll see once the car's ready and completed and might leave it that way. All right, so our next bracket is gonna go from that bolt up there, that first one right there, and then come all the way down to here. So the way we do that is I gotta take a measuring tape, measure from the top of that bolt right there all the way down to the diffuser. And I gotta make sure it's set in place before I do that. And actually, 
I, end, I tend to make the bracket a little bit smaller than the actual size. That way it grabs on tight there. And this is a lot easier if you have the rear bumper off, but I have it on just because I'm too lazy to take it off. And if the car is jacked up with the wheels off, that'll make it a lot easier getting back there to the bolts that go in the back. So you just gotta find reference points on where to mount the diffuser, where you wanna mount it to. So I'm gonna use the first one up there, down here. There's two more in the back. All right, so I marked an inch and a half just so I have enough to fold over and drill through. And from there, I marked the actual me measurement of the length of the actual bracket itself. And then from there, another inch and a half to fold over this way. <laughs> This one's holding really good. It's not moving at all. All right, so I did this mount, I did the other mount. So I'm gonna show you where the process starts and how you figure it out where you're gonna mount. So I have a couple of choices. I have one right there. As you guys can see, it's there, but it's closer to the other one. So I need something more towards the rear. So here I have three choices. Either go with that um, M6, bolt right there go with this one right here on the hanger but the problem with this one is that the hanger is in the way so I can't go straight down but I looked a little bit closer and I found that ground wire here and the M6 bolt so I'm going to use that area to go straight down onto here So now I'm gonna drill, bolt it up, and then replicate this on the other side. So for this installation, I'm gonna be using some medium strength thread locker on these M6 bolts. So that way I have that extra security that these bolts so won't come loose and the diffuser like will fall and break. The brackets, so yeah, that way you don't see them because they do look kind of weird sticking down in the aluminum color. So I ended up doing that. Now I just need to clean the car up really good, bring it down, and it's ready to go. As you can see, the cuts aren't 100% perfect but they're pretty close so I'm really happy with the results. I'm gonna get rid of these right here and put some new ones so it doesn't look like crappy right here. So yeah let's go ahead and do that. So all the brackets are painted matte black now. The diffuser is completely on and I also had to do one more thing. I had to cut the diffuser there. I still need to fine up the edges there. I just didn't want the carbon fiber touching on the exhaust and that's why I cut it there. So now the diffuser is pretty solid now. All I have to do is either put a mount up front here or down there somewhere, another one in the middle. That way it like really holds it on good. It has a little bit of wiggle room since I cut that out and it doesn't have pressure there anymore. So it does have a little bit of wiggle to it now, but before it, this thing was so solid. So I'm just gonna figure out a way to put a mount on the middle here so that way it doesn't move anymore. So I ended up making this U-shaped bracket that goes from the rear diffuser to the rear bumper. And as you guys can see right there on the side brackets, they had existing holes already. I drilled through them and installed these pushed out clips on there and they're plastic clips. I actually bought these a while ago and I just had them sitting around so they came in real handy and good thing I had them because everything just worked out perfect. And now the diffuser is really solid. It doesn't move at all. So that is a good sign. Now let's go ahead and test out the rear plate. And it looks like it's gonna fit perfect. Obviously it is, cause that's where it goes. But the good thing about this is that the plate bracket itself is bolted onto the diffuser. So now the plate won't move at all. And that is a really good thing for me because it kept moving around before I had the diffuser on and that was getting really annoying. But let's check this out. The diffuser is finally done and it looks amazing as you guys can see here. 
it actually turned out really good and i'm surprised this diffuser actually fit i do have the side mounts for this but i don't know if i'm gonna put them on or not i'll probably show you guys in a different video how it looks with the side with the side spats i guess you could call them the little side splitters that go on the side of the diffuser but with that being said let me close this trunk give you guys a better view of what this looks like so with the gurney flap on the wing, the carpet diffuser, everything just flows together and looks really good. Well, I just want to say the diffuser's done, looks good. Thank you guys for watching. Once again, Ed Range, peace.